Hi guys and welcome to that Aquinton Stanley vs Sunderland match review. So we did take on Aquinton and we did win by three goals to one and lo and behold we had more than two shots on target and that's <laughs> and that's down to Jack Ross dropping this three at the back and it, and it worked wonders. So we had four at the back, we played 4-4-2. Four, four, Across the back we had Conor McLaughlin, we had Willis and Ozturk as the centre-back uh, centre partnership. Uh, and we had Luke O'Neill as well across the back. In midfield, we had Power and Ledbitter in the centre. On one side, we had Maguire, and on the other, we had Gooch. And then up top, we had Will Grigg, and we had McNulty. So, first off, um, I don't think we were particularly pretty. I don't think we really got control of the game as such. Um, I think it was more counter-attacking uh, counter counter football. Um uh, and, and it did work for us to an extent because I think defensively we look very we look very decent. I think Ozturk is certainly the centre back we need at the minute to calm the storm, which is something I never thought I would say. It's just because it's purely a no nonsense brick shit house, which is at this level, you know, they can prove vital those kind of players. And uh, I think it proved to be just that because I think it, it, it was all right. Willis for me at times looked a little bit shaky, particularly in the air, because we know that he isn't the tallest of centre backs. But, uh, you know, on the whole, you know, we trapped back well with his pace and uh, defensively we looked a lot better, a lot better. I think the one qualm I would have would be Power and Ledbitter in the middle. I think the two similar, which is an argument we had last season. If we had like a Dobson in there as well uh, in, in the middle or, or, or you know, Nyan maybe, you know, to try and just break things up and get forward, maybe that would help because I think our midfield during that first half at times it got a little bit overran and there was far too much space for them to get at us. But, uh, but, but you know, it was so much better than, <laughs> than uh, the last two games. So, um, so yeah, so, so we mainly played on the counter-attack, I would say, in, in the first half. We did make uh, the odd chance here and there. It was mainly getting down the wings with Gooch or Maguire and then whipping balls into the box. Again, Grigg, he, looked, he just looked terrible. He looks uninterested. He, he doesn't challenge for headers, even when the ball was getting played into his feet, which is the big argument that everyone's saying. Everyone's saying, get the ball into his feet. His touch was awful. I was giving the ball away. If he did try and you know knock a ball on, it was going to nowhere. Um, but McNulty was absolutely excellent for me. Absolutely excellent. He was pressing that back line. He got himself a goal as well um, early on in the first half, or relatively early on, I should say. Good finish. Um, but with McNulty, his movement off the ball is great. He presses the back line, like I say. He's just a little menace. He was an absolute menace. Even when he had his back to goal, the ball was played into his feet. He'd drop his shoulder and move with the ball the opposite way. And it, he was just full of life and full of energy. And it, it, if, regardless of his height, he's not the, the big guy who's going to win headers in the air. I, I accept that. I accept that with Grigg as well. But if you can't make up for it with winning balls in the air, then you need to have something else to your game. Unfortunately, Grigg doesn't seem to have anything else or, or anything to his game at the minute, which is unfortunate. I'm not going to slate him too much, but he just looked terrible <laughs> again. But uh, McNulty... For me, he was just full of life, full of energy, and he was a real thorn in their side from start to finish. So we went a goal up through McNulty. Uh, they did have a couple of chances of their own, but defensively on the whole, I, I was impressed. Second half comes round, and we give away a penalty, which they uh, they, which they put away. And fair play to them, but you know, as soon as McGeady came on, I mean, with, with Gooch, don't get me wrong, I think he had a good game. Uh, I think he was decent. He was trying to make things happen, but you know, typical Gooch. What he would do is, if he took on his man once, he took on the left or the right back once. He would try the same sort of trick over and over again, and it become very predictable for their defence to, uh, to to stop the crosses or to stop him uh, direct attacking at them. But McGeady come on, and he just, he just shown his class. He just absolutely took the piss out, out of the Aquinton team entirely, pretty much. All it took was a little bit of. You know, technical ability. He just ran straight at them. Uh, a couple of shimmies here and there, just to take on their entire team and just dummy their whole team, and then put it in the bottom left-hand corner. And it was just typical McGeady. It was just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So two-one up, and it was just a touch of class. That's all we need. I, I think when we're going forward and we have bodies forward, which we don't really have when we play the three at the back. But when we have bodies forward and you have the technical ability of Aidan McGeady. You have such a good weapon in your arsenal. You really, really do. And he just took the piss. He come on McGeady and had a laugh. <laughs> to be honest with you, because he's he just reeked of class. Do you know what I mean? But um, but then Charlie White come on, which was nice to see. And Charlie White and McNulty together. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to big up too much. It was only at Quinton away, and it was only in the cup and what have you. But 
he, he looked like a different beast, Charlie White, to me. He really did. And he had the aerial threat. And we won a header. <laughs> we won a few headers when the ball was getting just lumped forward. And he, and he was winning things in the air. He was linking up with McNulty brilliantly. And he got himself a goal. He got himself a goal and made it 3-1. There was not much more we could have asked of Charlie. And I just think he was excellent. I think there was so much promise for that uh, for that two up top with McNulty and Wyke. And I'd love to see that from the start of the game. Um, but he, he was just, again, he was full of energy, Charlie Wyke. And he just, he, he looked like he was brimming with confidence last night. And of course, the fans were really chanting his name, which of course helps with morale and his motivation as well, which was great. So all in all, I, I'm massively, you know, I, I'm happy with the performance um, in comparison to uh, the other night. Was it perfect? No, it, it, it was far from perfect. But we had more than two shots on target, which <laughs> which is what we were getting used to over the last couple of games. So I'm just hopeful now that Jack Ross sees that four at the back is something we need to continue with, whether it is a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-3, whatever. I just hope he sees that, you know, this is what we should be sticking with now. And, you know, it would take an idiot to think that we should be going back to three at the back. I mean, you know, there might be certain situations where it, we really need to hold on to something and go to a five at the back or three at the back or whatever. It, maybe, you know. But I do need to take my heart off to Jack Ross because a lot of managers would be stubborn enough. We have had managers in the past who have you know, stuck with the formation or stuck with the system even though we're crying out for a change and they refuse to. And they're just so stubborn and they will remain with the same old dross. Whereas Jack Ross, he changed it. You know, you can't, you know, for all the criticism I throw at him or what other people throw at him, he did have the balls to change it, to say, you know, this is wrong, it's not working and I'll change it. So I'm, I'm going to, you know, I need to give him that. I need to give him that, that's a positive and it works. So, yeah, 3-1. Decent performance, massively improved. I asked for a drastic improvement, and that is exactly what we got. Granted, it was only in the Carabao Cup, but hopefully we can transfer this into the league at the weekend against Portsmouth, which is going to be a massive, massive one. Uh, so hopefully we can get ourselves a win in the league. But it's our first win of the season. It's That's off our back now. Now hopefully we can transfer this bit of momentum and transfer it into the league. But that is it, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for me. It would be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.